How do you find netherite? Well, let's show you. So first we got to go into the nether real quick. Ah, I got to do as quick as I can. In fact, while I'm building this, I'll just tell you so you don't even have to watch. Because I'm like that. I'm weird. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, basically, you just got to go to the nether and go mine down to level Y15. And make sure you mine with a diamond pickaxe. Okay, now you know everything you need to know. You actually don't even need to watch my tutorial anymore. Here, I'm going to turn on my brightness so you can see. Okay, well, if you want to stick around and keep watching, you can. So I'm actually... This actually is... Uh, this is Minecraft, but I have Optifine installed right now. But we're going to go down to layer Y15. Whoa, I didn't realize how high I was. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Now, uh, you can find it between layers 8 and 22, but statistically, they actually show up the most often at Y level 15. So I'm at 35 right now, 34, 30, oh my goodness. Trying to get rid of the lava. Yeah, this is dangerous, by the way. Okay, I'm at level 15 right now. This is 15. This is the best level to go mining for netherite. And you're going to find it in the forms of ancient debris. And like I said, you have to have a diamond pickaxe. Just for fun, I might pull some torches, but I probably won't need it. Now let's go ahead and go to survival. And you're just going to mine in veins. And I like to do it two by two. Oh my goodness, we're going to die. <laughs> Almost. Let's go this way. See? Only too high. And be very careful of lava. See, always keep netherite or, you know, a block next to you so you can plug holes real quick. Because that is a dangerous thing about the nether. Sometimes it is safer to go down a little bit deeper because you're less likely to hit lava. But that's just the lava pools. Anyways, now you're just going to look for ancient debris. And you just keep mining like this, and every now and then I'll, you know, go over to... And then go down another hall. You know, each vein hall will be like this. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, Flint, haha. Uh -huh. You get the idea, right? Okay, now I'm gonna fast forward until I find some ancient debris. Whoops. Okay, that didn't work. I almost died down that other hall. Let's try a different hall. Oh! Oh, there's one right there. Oh, okay. And you got a diamond pickaxe. Gotta have the diamond pickaxe. Then we'll pick it up. Engine debris. Uh, that actually took me a little while. That took me, that took me about ten minutes. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. It was about ten minutes of street mining. Sometimes I find it fast. Sometimes I find it slow. Ancient debris is rare. It's meant to be because it's special. You know, right? That's the way it is. But actually, you just saw how to get ancient debris. Really, the only tech, the only thing you need to know is you go into Nether, go down to layer Y15, it's the best layer, and then just go across until you find it. And you mine for it just like that, and that's how you find ancient, or that's how you find Netherite. You find ancient debris, and then you can turn it into Netherite. Uh, yeah, maybe I should show you how to make Netherite in case you, in case that's what you came for. Uh, we need gold ingot ingots. And what you'll do is your ancient debris, when you get it, you just put it in a furnace to cook it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it stopped right there. That'll cook it, and I'll just give you another scrap. Like this. And once you get it, then you put it on a crafting table. So I'm doing this in creative just because it's faster. Just put four down one and four down of another, and that'll give you another right ingot. And there you go. And see that turned into another ice scrap. Okay, now you've seen it. Now I've seen everything. Now you know how to find the ancient debris and to turn it into netherite. Just in case you wanted to know. So there you go.